These were the dimensions of sound, sight, and abject terror. I think you will see how we differ. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest episodes of The Twilight Zone. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're ranking the most spooky, terrifying, and downright creepy episodes from the original run of Rod Serling's The Twilight Zone. We're keeping our focus on the darker stuff here, so if you're looking for our thoughts about the series as a whole, then please check out Watch Mojo's Top 10 Twilight Zone episodes. Oh, and we're also going to be delving into spoiler territory here, so you have been warned. To serve men, it's, it's a cookbook! Number 10. Mirror Image What happens when the mirror looks back? The episode Mirror Image uses this idea to a profoundly creepy effect, as star Vera Miles begins to think her reflection is stalking her and trying to take her place in the world. Mirror Image achieves its creep factor slowly via the misplacement of Miles' luggage and disturbing shots of her reflection as she leaves a women's restroom. It all comes to a head near the end, however, when a fellow passenger at the bus stop where Miles is waiting sees his own reflection in the flesh and attempts to chase him down. Hey! Number 9. Elegy Death is an eternal mystery, and the notion of it is usually creepy enough for the average person. Elegy takes this notion one step further, using a sci-fi setting to set up a galactic graveyard full of stoic corpses, frozen in what seems to be moments of eternal joy. It seems comforting at first, but the three astronauts who land in this cemetery are more confused than anything, until they run into the cemetery caretaker, Jeremy Wickwire. To peace, my friends. To everlasting, eternal peace. The trio is tricked by Wickwire into drinking eternifying fluid, after which all three astronauts join the planet's silent statues, forever locked in this panorama of the deceased. Number 8. The Midnight Sun There's a palpable sense of panic and fear brought to the table by the Midnight Sun. I heard on the radio that they're only going to turn the water on an hour a day from now on. The last two neighbors in an apartment complex are brought together when the Earth detaches from its orbit and begins moving closer to the sun. The episode remains in the apartment complex for its duration, and there's a sense of horrible claustrophobia as the pair not only fends off their own fears of death, but also the more immediate threat of looting and violence outside. Combine this with a downbeat twist ending, and you have a Twilight Zone episode that still instills fear remarkably well, even decades later. That's such a terrible dream. So hot. Number 7. Little Girl Lost Picture it. You're a parent and you wake up in the middle of the night to screams from your frightened daughter. Mommy! All right, sweetheart, I'm coming. That situation alone is troubling enough, but add to it the fact that the child in Little Girl Lost seems nowhere to be found, and you have a parent's absolute worst nightmare. Although this Twilight Zone episode does have a happy ending, the early scenes featuring the disembodied pleas of a girl lost in a parallel dimension are beyond creepy. Chris, where is she? I don't know. And help start the episode off at maximum tension. I'm here, baby. Number 6. The After Hours If you suffer from pediophobia, don't watch The After Hours alone. Actually, you might not want to watch it at all, as it just so happens to be one of the creepiest installments in the entire series run. You remember Marsha? Climb off it. Come on, dear. Marsha. Shots of emotionless mannequin heads and scary faceless voices punctuate the tale of a young woman who forgets she's actually part of the decor at the department store where she's shopping. In this episode's universe, mannequins are allowed one month out of the year to be human, but for some reason, and Francis's character needs to be reminded by being frightened out of her wits, of course. Number 5. Perchance to Dream Was this an influence for A Nightmare on Elm Street? Perhaps. 
Perchance to Dream features Richard Conte as a sleepless man who's terrified that his nightmares are out to get him. Conte hasn't slept in days, because when he does, he's tormented by a creepy funhouse. It's the kind of place you see only in nightmares. Everything warped and twisted out of shape. The nightmares also feature a seductive woman named Maya, and when he sees Maya's face in the real world, he jumps out of his psychiatrist's window in sheer panic. It's not until the end that we see he's actually never left the doctor's couch and died in his sleep. Well, I guess there are worse ways to go. At least he died peacefully. Number four, Night Call. Night Call follows a series of scary late night phone calls to a wheelchair bound woman named Elva. A moaning voice on the line is disturbing enough, but when Elva learns that the calls have been coming from the cemetery, there's no dialing back the creepiness. The mystery man does eventually stop calling, but the tragic twist is that the calls have actually been coming from Elva's deceased fiance, who died years ago from the same car accident that put Elva in her chair. Brian, are you there? Brian? Brian, if you're there, speak to me. Finally realizing this, Elva can only mourn her lost opportunity at speaking with her beloved one last time, adding a tinge of sadness to the terror. You said leave you alone. I always do what you say. Number three, Nightmare at 20,000 Feet. Sure, the gremlin costume in this Twilight Zone episode may seem dated now, but it absolutely terrified audiences when it first aired in 1963. <laughs> Nightmare at 20,000 Feet is successful because of its near-perfect pacing, as it teases the gremlin as a product of William Shatner's fractured mental state. He sees it attempting to sabotage the plane, but no one believes him and the gremlin's behavior on the wing is both humorous and disturbing. There's a man out there! So keep your voice down. This episode received many accolades from fans, and it's easy to see why, as Shatner's unhinged performance and the gremlin's still creepy design make Nightmare at 20,000 Feet a timeless classic. Number 2. The Hitchhiker The Hitchhiker is often cited as one of the series' classic episodes, and with good reason. This one is an all-out creep fest. No matter how far I travel or how fast I go, he's ahead of me. The dread is palpable, as the episode's protagonist becomes increasingly panicked and paranoid about an old hitchhiker who appears all along her cross-country drive. Inger Stevens is brilliant in the role of Nan, while the titular hitchhiker delivers the scares, often appearing out of nowhere, jumping into frame with a sad, blank look on his face. Things get sadder still when we realize that Nan has actually been dead all along. That's nothing the matter with my mother. What do you mean a nervous breakdown? Well, it's all taken place since the death of her daughter. It is suspenseful, disturbing stuff. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few disturbing honorable mentions. It's not a dream. It just couldn't be. Not now. It just couldn't be. good. Life is pretty, life is fun. I am all and all is one. <laughs> Needle, please. Number one, Living Doll. The OG of deadly doll nightmare fuel, Taki Tina was giving audiences the creeps way back in 1963. My name is Taki Tina and I love you very much. Tina basically gives us the shivers from the first moment she appears first as a loving doll to young Christy, then as the bane of her stepfather's existence. You are going to be sorry. Tina taunts and threatens him incessantly with a malevolent deadpan delivery, as he tries in vain to destroy the doll and get it out of the house. Finally, he trips over the doll and falls down the stairs to his death, where he's discovered by his wife. Tina's final words? My name is Talky Tina. better be nice to me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.